Richmond student um, at Richmond the American University in London. Thank you. And I'm Hamad Khan. I'm Associate Professor and Program Director of BA Business Management. We've created this short video to give you um, an insight on the program. Um, I hope you enjoy it. At the end, um, you can, we'll give you contact details so you can get in touch if you have any questions. So to start off, um, what is this degree really about? Thank you. So for BA Business Management, we have tried to develop a program which takes care of all the knowledge that students would need to become uh, really good at business management in general. So they are given opportunities to learn about different aspects of business. At the same time, they're able to choose uh, four, one of the four pathways. And BA Business Management has got four business pathways. Mm -hmm. One is international business. The other one is entrepreneurship. We also have one on human resource management and we have data analytics. That's nice, nice. Um, so let's dive a, a bit deeper uh, into what like, we really want to study. Okay. Um, what are some of the courses? As I said, for BA Business Management, we have developed curriculum which takes care of the broader aspects of business. And students, when they join in year one, which would be level three, they are offered courses which will be the same for all and you can choose your pathway later on. So uh, if I look at the courses that we offer, uh, in year one you will do courses like uh, foundation of business, uh, functions and applications which is much more quantitative. We also offer foundations of computer applications and a very interesting co course called world of entrepreneurship. Uh, f and for uh, year two, you can uh, you will be given courses like uh, economics, both microeconomics and macroeconomics, a course in accounting, and in year three you will learn more about finance. But in year three you will also learn more about your chosen pathway. So if you have chosen international business, you will be doing a course, for example, in trade related courses. If you have chosen a course a pathway of entrepreneurship. You will be doing courses like managing innovation and entrepreneurial theory and practice. And when you go to uh, reach your final year, which is year four, you will be doing uh, at least two courses in your chosen pathway. So if I take entrepreneurship as an example, in that you will do a course on lean startup. And then there is one called entrepreneurship valuation, funding and growth. And as an example for uh, human resource management, you will be doing, uh, again, human resource, but also uh, managing the multinational corporation and also psychology of happiness and well-being. Uh, in addition to uh, this course, uh, your degree at Richmond, you also are uh, you know, able to choose a minor on the side. A minor could be uh, in something related to business. For example, if you are doing a, entrepreneurship you can do a minor in marketing you can also do a minor in law you can do a minor in mathematics as well so we offer a range of other minors as well that just opens up new avenues for uh, students when they when they graduate and as students of Richmond they also get to learn more about not just one particular business management but two pathways so one would be the major and one would be a minor that's good. That's good. That was a lot of information. Um, <laughs> so, um, so I can see like there are a few um, electives um, that we can choose from. Yes. Um, like film, um, like filming in the Americas as an elective that okay. someone could do. Correct. Um, when do when would we particularly pick an elective? Well, you can pick elective right from the year one, and they could be uh, something like visual thinking or. Nat uh, narrative of change and you also can pick uh, electives in year three so we have a service learning uh, portfolio a group of courses service learning which includes digital collaboration leadership in a changing world or global citizenship so we do offer electives across different years and that is also very helpful and very very popular as well okay. um, so how are these classes and electives and courses um, like assessed? Uh, that's a very important question because uh, we uh, are very conscious that assessments play a big part in students learning uh, and 
also achieving learning outcomes. So as per our assessment norms, we can offer a range of different assessment types, which could be from a written assignment, a midterm exam, or a case study analysis, or even a presentation. Uh, and that offers students several opportunities in which they can actually express what they have learned in different ways and they can be assessed through different means. Uh, and that is what we highly encourage across different years and among our faculty to offer a range of types so students do not just write long essays throughout but they have different ways of you know being assessed. What, what is your favorite assessment? My favorite is a case study analysis because that lets students not only uh, apply their chosen knowledge into uh, a different a scenario, but also it helps them develop their analytical skills. And I and it is not a typical exam question. They have a case study in front of them, and they answer those questions uh, with a lot of depth and also do re research for it. So that is one of my favorites. I'm not sure if that is my student's favorite as well, but it's definitely my favorite. Um, I'm going to have to disagree with the assessment, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so moving on, um, can we discuss a little bit about internships? Like when would you take it or do you recommend students do any internships? Thank you. Uh, at Richmond for a BA Business Management, the internship is already built in, in your curriculum, in your degree, and that has got uh, six credits for students to achieve. We highly encourage that uh, because it helps students get in touch with their chosen industry while they're still a student. And before they graduate, they have a degree and an industry experience to, to show to their potential employers. Uh, for that very purpose, we have a dedicated office at Richmond uh, who uh, matches, you know, the department matches students of their preferred choice of industry with the employers who are looking for interns and it is a six-week internship students normally take that during uh, their third or the final year of summer or in their final semester and uh, we have uh, very uh, good examples where students have really enjoyed and learned a lot from their internships and those internships may not be just in london it could also be uh, for students who want to go back to their home country and do internship there, and that will also be given credit for. Nice, nice. Um, so, what kind of organization have students um, on this program done internships in? Um, like in the past, or have like outlined their own internships if they have done one? Again, it depends on the student's interest. So we have a wide variety of employers where students have done their internship from. Uh, they are in fashion, they are in international business, they are in banks, they are in small startups, and they're also medium-sized companies. So there are several, th thanks to our location in London, we do offer a range of companies and that just helps students get to learn more about from small companies to large companies. Okay. Um, what have uh, students gone on to do after graduation? Uh, we've, been, we've been very fortunate with that because uh, most of our students, uh, graduates who do choose to do their employment straight after, they have gone to some really uh, you know, well-known multinationals like uh, KPMG and Ernst & Young in consultancy and some also choose to do their masters and for masters we have students who are currently graduating in uh, LSC, King's College and uh, some very highly reputed universities as well. One of the questions at the open day um, events were how big the classes are. Right, so uh, the entire university has got, you know, very uh, small university feel to it and that means we are very, very accessible and uh, we also make sure that our students uh, in the classroom are of a certain number which is not neither too small nor too big. So on average we have about 12 to 15 students in each class and that is very helpful because they all get a lot of attention and it, they do not get you know just a, a name or a number in a classroom. We have a very very you know accessible atmosphere within classrooms. So small sizes and uh, that is all what students really learn from. 
Um, so another question at the open day event was where would the students be studying? Right, so uh, Richmond University moved to this new campus last year and we are now based in Chiswick Business Park which is uh, right in the middle of Chiswick, uh, West London and we have got some very, very highly reputed neighbors in the park. We have some corporate headquarters of multinationals, of airlines, of restaurant businesses and different banks as well. So that just helps students, you know, feel that they're part of something already very corporate, very, very uh, industry focused and it really goes well with our focus of business management with our location. So does uh, the business management program have any accreditations? Uh, yes, we are a member of uh, AACSP and all our business management and, uh, and uh, pathways and all our degrees for business school are certified by CMI and that just helps, uh, that, that just reassures that we are quite uh, credible and our uh, curriculum has been approved by the industry specialists. Okay. I have a question for you, okay. uh, that you are almost close to your graduation, which is excellent news. Uh, I would like to know what have you enjoyed the most as a student of BA Business Management? I think the most that I have enjoyed about the, the program as a whole has been the opportunities to connect and network with others as well as have guidance and advice from professionals and professors that have kind of gone through the experience that I have as well, like yourself. It's, it's been great to have a lot of advice on starting my own business as well. Okay, that is very encouraging and reassuring. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and helpful. If you have any questions, please contact us.